who have so cultured themselves that they know when death is around the corner and they switch another way. People, Satan is so stupid that he has devised a means where those who serve him know when they will die. Then as a child of God, you should also be sensitive to know how to number your days. To know when the signal is bad and know how to switch. Yes, as a child of God, you can know when death is around the corner and you switch into prayer and cast away that spirit of death. You know, you want to learn, learn it. You want to know how death is around the corner. And you say, this is a very bad spirit of death coming. And you switch into prayer immediately. How can one notice that death is coming around the corner? Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. It comes like a clothes when it comes upon someone the person's ghost lives now number one the people who dead comes around the first stage is that they lose peace or hunger to associate with human beings a spirit is trying to call them out of the human world unnecessarily they start disassociating themselves from friends they start disassociating themselves from family hold those ones close with prayer not just physically with prayer death is come knocking around the corner it comes like frustration. It comes like somebody tilted them. It comes like what has been their goal for life? They did not achieve it. All of a sudden, they start locking themselves indoors. Anyone that contemplated or attempted suicide is tempted by disassociating themselves from people. So I'm not speaking to you. I'm telling you practical things. The first thing that Satan does, remove them from where humans are. Remove them from going to church. Remove them from going to schools. Remove them from even going to where they will see their fellow human beings. All of a sudden, someone that likes associating with people enjoys being alone. Leave me, leave me, leave me. I want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. The spirit of death is around the corner. Before you know, you will be alone. Satan will say, Do this. He did this to you. What is the essence for living? Just go and buy this thing and drink and just take your life and be at rest. It's a lie. It can't happen. So they lose the interest to be around humans. Why you can't explain why you want to be left alone beyond any reasonable fact? Please engage a serious prayer against death. You just like that. You don't want to study. You don't want to read. You don't want to think anything that will add anything to your life. You are just angry. People should not leave you alone. I want to be alone. Never allow that circumstance to happen. That is when Satan with big time to begin to plant things in your hands. Number two, loss of hope and belief in anything called future possibility. This kind of people tell them to leave he's not the only man God will bring another man they say no if it should have been him if it's not him I will not marry any other person that is wrong very wrong they lose possibly anything that is called future possibility they never believe no I trained that in school yes and so what you trained that in school and so what there are other people coming other people are coming no this is my lord I loved this job another job is coming they lose hope. You tell them you can make it again. They say, no, I cannot make it again. I know, Pastor, you don't know what you are talking about. You don't know how many, how many things I did to survive this thing. You don't know what price I prayed to have this kind of thing. You are not telling me I will have another one. Where, where was God when, when I lost? No, God was doing party. You are asking where was God? This earth is evil. Everything in this earth is evil. It's God that is saving us. So if anything happens, don't question God. Just fix your hope that something coming on your way. So don't lose that hope. A spirit pushing them to be everywhere and most of these places not, have nothing to do with your life. It's how you know that spirit of death is talking. You are just sometimes. Now, to be indoors alone is bad. But that is a time spirit will come. Say, be at this party. Be at this place. Be at this burial. Be at this wedding. I had a friend that every month they say he goes for burial. Every month every month every month is no longer alive they don't bury him too if they happen for you i will be there if they happen for you i'll be there if they happen for you i'll be there there are some things that you can do and there are some things you can't do god has given you signal that you can't be here must you keep everything they go waiting they go talk if i don't come for them they go come for me are you planning for your own burial too? why will you say they don't come for them sometimes the way we think as human beings is the thing that is causing our problems it's not everywhere that you will go. It's not every barrier you will go. It's not every celebration. We know it is celebration. It's not all of them you will go. Go for something and relax. Don't be on the 
express road every day. Don't be there every day. Unless you are walking like transport and God will protect you. But when the spirit comes, it will be pushing them. Don't be here. You see this house? Don't rest. They go. Go like this. I get here. I know they hear. I get head. I know they think. Just they work out. <laughs> Tell them don't go and lie. Say, I will go. Pastor does not understand. Seeing dead people in your dreams always, it means that the spirit of death is around the corner. How can you be? What happened to all the fine, fine faces in church? Please dream about me. You don't have any face. I rock pad and dress up with tie and suit and come to your dream. Don't be seeing dead people all over. Seeing dead people always in your dream does not mean you will die sometimes. But sometimes it means that there is an evil influence around the corner. Reject things from them. Sometimes they come to give you things in the dreams. No, don't do that. Tell your neighbor be prayerful. Tell your neighbor be sensitive. Pay attention to spiritual things.